Let's start here with the headline. I'm looking at it. Louisiana Senate puts permanent sales tax in play for transportation project. Can you tell us what the Senate did and what they're trying to do? Absolutely. So, you know, at the beginning of the session, there was a real push to raise the gas tax. And I know Aaron was talking about it earlier this morning. Money's coming in for the Jimmy Davis Bridge from the federal funds. And once they saw how much was coming down from the Fed, they realized we don't really need to raise taxes this year to fund infrastructure in this state. But in the Senate the other night, they decided to go ahead and tack on a permanent extension of the temporary sales tax that was passed first in 2016 and extended in 2018. And that tax doesn't expire until 2025. But here we are in 2021 trying to permanently extend a $400 million a year sales tax increase on the people of Louisiana. What's the logic behind that? What are they thinking? What are they looking to? I, I know that that the explanation was, well, you know, it's an alternative uh, alternative to the gas tax, but the gas tax didn't have a chance of passing. What's the logic here? Absolutely. I think the logic and how it was done is that a lot of people didn't know it was coming. They didn't have time to hear from their constituents and, and really get input on this. And so you saw a lot of people vote for it. That, that really kind of surprised me, Robert. You know, we look at some of the very conservative senators that voted for this, and I think a lot of them just didn't know it was coming and didn't know how their constituents would feel about it, and they were facing pressure in the building to vote for it. And so they're going to have one more chance once it moves through committee when it's on the floor, and we're hoping that this time a lot of those guys that voted for it will do the right thing. Do you think they really didn't realize what they were voting for? Please tell me that's not true. Look, Aaron, I I like to give everybody the benefit of the doubt, especially some of these real good, strong conservatives in the shreveport Bozier area that voted for it. I I think once they hear from their constituents about this, I think they'll do the right thing on the Senate floor and vote against extending this $400 million a year tax increase. Did they really vote to keep it permanent? Absolutely, yeah. There was a proposal in the House earlier this year that hasn't gotten much traction. It got out of committee, but they haven't been able to find the vote support on the floor that would extend it for six years. This proposal that was passed in the Senate the other day would make that 0.45 cent sales tax increase permanent. Well, wait a minute. My, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, my friend. Her, eye, a minute, her my friend. eyebrows just hit her hairline. It happens we're, all the time. We're getting $3 billion from the feds. Our budget now today is larger than it's ever been in the history of Louisiana. Wouldn't you think maybe now's a good time to get rid of some taxes? Look, absolutely. And that, that's, it was as shocking to me as it is to you. I think my eyebrows also hit the ceiling when I, when I was watching and saw what they were doing. And that's a high ceiling in the Capitol. But, um, but, yeah, I mean, you're absolutely right. This is a year that we're finally seeing the legislature make real strides on reforming our tax code, bringing personal and corporate income tax rates down. It's not the time to go and undo that progress and raise taxes. The whole reason the temporary sales tax was passed in the first place is the legislature couldn't agree on real tax reform. And now that we're finally seeing that move forward, why would we take a step? Why why would we take two steps back when we're taking one step forward? It just doesn't make sense to me. So to wrap up, explain to us, to everybody again, A, what happens next, and B... Who I called a bitch at. And who... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounded like you. Sorry. Um, and what do you think, and what do you think is going to happen with this measure? So what happens next is it'll move through the Senate Finance Committee, and then it'll be back on the Senate floor for final passage to send it over to the House. Up in the up in the Shreveport Bozier area, we had one state senator vote against it, and I I got to give a shout out and thanks to Senator Greg Tarver. He's the one senator from up in this area up in this area that voted against amending this bill to permanently extend the, the temporary sales tax. And so, what everybody in this area needs to do is reach out to your senators, whether it's Barry Milligan, Robert Mills, Barry Peacock, and, and tell them how you feel about it. They didn't have much time to get in, input since this was a minute at the last minute. And what I think ultimately happens is it'll get to the Senate floor. It'll be a very close vote to get that two-thirds majority. And and so I'm hoping that we see an uprising from the people of Louisiana that don't want a $400 million a year sales tax increase and that we stop the Senate's tracks. 